is hot it's five red lights and we are away so right now it's looking like a very good getaway for the AlphaTauri of Derekovic also for Lenny Cook swooping through in the middle immediately getting the jump Tari of Derekovic also for Lenny Cook swooping through in the middle immediately getting the jump with that mediums and a great start to jump up to P2 join his teammate make it a 1-2 for the AlphaTauri suit looking a little bit further down the field as well looks like looking a little bit further down the field as well looks like we've got so a bit of jostling in the mid pack the Alfa Romeo's P5 and P7 trying to find space jostling and fighting for position as Ilacopi and say Cas uh say having a second entry I think I say minor error that is Arjan Bilbas but Bilbas to say joining Ferrari and Ilacopi finally having a wingman to inside but it's not doing so hot because they're both P10 and P12 finally having a wingman to inside but it's not doing so hot because they're both P10 and P12 now as he's tussling with Hardwick down the bottom end of the field trying to find position and find some space. Got to find something around here. You can go side by Way side. Up at the top of the hill, he's got the exit speed. Not going to have the DRS, of course. Ferrari versus Thomas Hardwick. And they make their way rolling past all of the VIP lounges. Here we go. Great entertainment. Oh, straight in the pit lane, of course, Stefo. Oh, no. So it must have been damaged in the Ferrari. Two lap line. And so, so far, so good. You'd have to say Lenny Cookbutt has done a delivery, hasn't he? You got, you got that car from P4 up in the P2 and helping his teammate out probably secure the championship. I really think to say it's just a great example of team player there. Gets the jump right Chief out. For the DRS to be open. Here we go. Alfa Romeo on the outside there taking a... Well, I know how much you really, really do love the Aston Martins, my friend, but that is job done. Secure it into uh, the City of Largo up into P4 for Larson. But look at that. Eighth gear, Mercedes power. Is he going to make it into the center races? He's going to stick to the racing line. He's going to break out, break there. He did a little bit of a lock up, but got it done there. He's got Larson up the road there. And there he is, Jasper Tanak, and up in the P5. Alex has gone for a bit of a spinner But keep an eye on that battle course. I want to see whether or not Jasper has enough in the tank there for the Mercedes. I don't think so. He's too far back. Even with the flashing light of a ran out of energy from E2 Lap Line, it's not enough. At this point, I say they should have by all means, the compound advantage. So, whether it's a compound advantage, getting the DRS like I've done, say throws a dummy on the inside, doesn't quite commit to it, so he's still got too much distance oh, to make. Up. Champion, she'll be a part of a champion. Peter, unfortunate for the Red Bulls, gone around somewhere, had a bit of a spin a -roo. And uh, Peter's lost it out of uh, turn 11, I think, at the moment. There's also another car that's lost it out of turn 11 nearby him. Of the activation of the car at the road, but this is it. Jasper can't afford to lose any of these places right now. As Cassie's denying him, shutting the door on the Mercedes driver. And um, well, that's not that's gonna be frustrating there for Jasper. Brave to take it up there as E2 does lose that position. E2's in a bit of a power slide. And there they're gonna be coming full speed out of turn two and three. Down, wrecked up also. They're gonna DRS and E2 could be losing two places here, Ben. That is team. Are they going to go in? Email, you'd imagine, go and get rid of those medium tires, right? You'd have to say, Ben, does he go in the pit lane? Stays out. I don't think. That means Lenny stays to, yeah. out. All right. Wow. It's not. It's say it's the medium tires. Well, ben, you reckon? Uh, wait for it and go. There you go. So right on cue. Emir's getting it full beans, coordinating with his teammate, making sure they both get a brilliant getaway. Immediately back to that one, two, four. Both get a brilliant getaway. Immediately back to that one, two formation. Bashwood safe, dropping down to P7. A bit of a battle going on at the back of the field. It's one wide, two wide, nearly three wide at points. There's contact being made as Bashwood goes all the way to the bottom of the field. Breakfast if he gets it right. So he can't afford to be behind anyone on those soft. You've got such a pace advantage in that short stint. That's a say six, seven, eight laps. Still there. there. Larson's still in P3. We've had both of the Alpha Tories in P1 and P2. Jasper in P5, biding his time and uh, biding his way into a oh, 007. But look at this. Jasper under massive pressure from E2. Absolutely. Believe it or not, there, Ben. It's going well, amazing. Alex is up. He got past Jasper Ten Hack and Peter Locked there. Noah Thomas. In P10, they're so tooth and nail separated by millimeters or nanometers at this he point. He has to do it now down Retto Posso, you'd imagine. But E2 uh, is a bit of a mastermind when it comes to those hard tires, but now he is a sitting target, and that should be taking candy from a baby as long as that case he can outbreak him. No, he doesn't. Wow. 
It's it's more. It's bringing the Aspot course into play. Oh, now there's Aspot. tires there for the Alfa Romeo driver. 15 laps, of course. You've got to remember, Emar and Lenny both are on those tires too. Blast is making a run back for some reason. He's just he's not wanting to yield that one position back. But, uh, of course, E2 knows. Hey, my friend, I'm sorry. Around the outside of the Mercedes, and yes, you've heard that a few times this season. Job done for the Red Bull driver. Jasper's just going to hold in, isn't he? He's waiting for that rain to come. That rain is definitely coming. About eight minutes and change now I'm getting from the uh, race control. Oh, Whether it's the rain seven minutes or so away, it takes ten or so before it will actually be wet enough to use the enters. But do you gamble on another set of softs? Ben, I don't want to be thrown in that situation so late in the season. e we should very much come out ahead of everybody else because they are all box, 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 boxing there, Mike. I know you need them weather graphics, but Mike, you're down there pit lane, mate. I wouldn't want to be there right now. It is a double stack for the Alpha Tories, for sure. Letty Cook's going to cost a lot of time. Yeah, and well, got bunched up at the moment. It's all about track position at this point. Yeah, you see the rain starting to fall now. And I know I'd say that track position is going to be hard to fend off, purely because... Now, got... unless he's going to gamble it. I don't know. Why not? Penultimate no, race. Is he going to gamble I it, Ben? Don't... I don't know if he can afford to gamble it. He's got to make a decision. He's going He's gonna for have to stay out. He hasn't got a choice. He's going to be able to squeeze out a few laps yet and see what they can do. A lot of these other runners, they're running on sort of not quite bedded in inters yet. Oh, it's a little bit of contact though. Say so Kassel and Larson right there. Larson looks to be running slow, fighting against Hostler in P5. Right left, now. right, and center. Don't really know what's going on with that Alfa Romeo, but one thing's for sure they are dropping fast. It's an Alfa, it's an Aston, it's. Aston in the wall though, looks like contact being made all the way down to the bottom end of the field. On the outside of Jasper Ted Hacken, like is taking candy from a baby and why not? Because he has the best boots in town, but at some point those boots are not going to be made for walking in the torrentious conditions of the rainfall coming in into Lions. I don't I even, I have no idea what's going on at the moment. Uh, that's a surprise we get, mate. And I uh, tell you what, I might need a little bit of NordVPN to go back and watch this one later. Thomas Sub the P5! He's even taken him out of Yamco before even the main straightaway. The F1 game, mate, it is dynamic. 81% chance of rain. But uh, not a lot. He's going to have to gamble on those inters. Problem is right now, under a safety car, mate, he's going to drop like a stone. Build out from P1 to P12. Ouch, hey, that hurts. That it's going to get heavier and heavier and heavier. I'm seeing the rain forecast showing in about 10 to 15 minutes that there's going to be heavier rain. But, you know, Ben, 10 to 15 minutes, mate, you're getting close to the end of the race. Are uh, all in the loop. And as I say, you've just shown each other the respect they deserve. As they shown each other skill and bringing it home where it matters on race day. Speaking of bringing it home, looks like Will Kassen trying to make a move around Bill Bass. Bass. covered that one off. But you mentioned, yeah, Alex Hossa. Not a usual name you see on the podium, but good to see McLaren up there at the moment. He only has to hold off for a handful of laps to go, but the rain is getting heavier. Man versus Ferrari. They got to still go side by side, of course, because uh, Ceteris has turned into one, two, and three. And it's going to be an exit into Reto Porso side by side. What do you think about this one? If you're a gambling man, I'm not, what are you going to put your money on? Uh, green or red? Well, say it's looking very strong coming green? through. You can sort of hear it. And there you go. Say that is Bill Bass running wide. But I think say that might be the move done. It's been second sector. You haven't got a move by this point. You haven't got a move until the next lap. Good job. Down, say, coming out at, say, turn three. And just, yeah, aquaplaned, hit the wall, lost a wheel. And that is very quickly their race hopes dash. But yes, that is full wets. I believe actually for the, the first massive pressure. He's doing a great job, of course, flooding P11 there for the McLaren. But what is the pressure going through his mind and his shoulders and his heart rate right now for the penultimate race and the penultimate lap of the season? Was well, trying Speed. to see. No matter what he does, those wet runners are breathing down his neck. Larson, Amir, all trying to angle up a move. Tanaka in P6. He's got a point to prove too. But there you go. Hosses on the getaway. Gets a decent... He must have eaten for breakfast at the wet tires, but look at this, it's a spin! And that's yes, but right that behind Ema! Sorry to cut you off, Benjamin. Look at this! Because this is two for now. Ema on the lead of the race. Yes, but two out of two for now, though, on the wet tires. Gonna get done, but Alex is holding him up. That's the McLaren. He needs to get past him as quickly as possible. Up on the inside, making his way up to the hill. 
almost immediate to say the wet runners really bringing that point to prove and not say giving anyone a second to breathe the instant the inter runners are pretty much almost immediately regretting it three wide Inters are down outside of p9 they're gone so they're dusted out Lenny's now putting a challenge to the Jasper 10 Hacken. Yet he's trying to deny Jasper the Mercedes any chance. But Jasper's closed the door and it says none on my watch. That's going to bring E2 the Haas into play. E5. Oh, we'll say absolutely bringing the heat. Lapalainen going to be looking to try and tee up a move. Peeks around, looking to throw a dummy on the Alpha Tower. Right crossing the line at the moment, making use. P1 to P1. This could be championship very much done there for Ima Dugovic. Job done in Brazil. Denmark are back on the top step. Well done. You've won the Brazilian Grand Prix. Okay, guys, hey, podium now. An eclectic collection, but a familiar topper.